Okay, now I'm going to uh, glue the uh, Z bands, uh, the ends of the push rod, uh, into place. Uh, before this, I am checking, I put the wing on the fuselage. Uh, when I'm moving the wing, I can see that the masking tape is moving, so I know the, uh, the aileron horns are, are engaged. I have a servo tester. Uh, with a battery and uh, it's uh, centered and I can also put it on manual and change the direction of the of the servos in order to uh, uh, play around with the uh, uh, with the position of the servos and I'm going to need it uh, I'm going to start with one push rod gonna take a servo arm I'm gonna take a uh, one of the uh, the bends that the Z bends that I've made uh, it's going to go um, the servo on, uh, on this I'm going to do it from the top for KSTs KSTs are a little bit taller so I do them going from the top uh, from the bottom up this I'm going to do from the top down let's see if this would work first a uh, very important just to dry fit everything just to check everything works a uh, servo is centered and I'm popping it in and I see I'm looking from the side and I'm seeing that the angle is okay that there's nothing out of the ordinary that the, the geometry looks uh, same I'm even moving the, the aileron uh, just to see that that it moves freely and that there's no binding uh, uh, anywhere in any direction uh, I'm leaving the uh, ailerons free uh, to move and now I will take the head of the servo off I've, um, uh, I've not positioned the plane the way I want it because I wanted to uh, position it so that, that it's easier to film it so I've taped it to the uh, to my workbench uh, what I am now going to do is I'm going again because I've touched the metal piece I'm going to and, and maybe some oil and, and residue for my hand um, will uh, affect the bone so again I'm cleaning it up a little bit okay now it's ready for movement I am going to use the manual wheel to set the servo maximum of movement forward and in the center uh, so I have the center and I have a manual movement forward this will allow me to play with the servo a little bit easier uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some thick CA only thick CA Going to pull a little bit on the on, the, on this piece, and I'm going to wick some thick CA. Just put a drop and let it go in into the tube. And another drop and another drop until it doesn't want to move okay making sure that it doesn't stick to the side of the fuselage always good to keep a something on hand in order to uh, uh, clean up if needed now i am putting it the piece of metal slowly uh, and i'm playing around with it so that the glue goes in and remember this is now centered so I am putting the head in 90 degrees I will move it forward add some more glue it sticks CA so it takes it a long time to to cure now I will put it back in play with it a little bit get my 
paper towel ready. And center it. Okay, so now it's centered. And before I use some uh, accelerator on it, I'm going to measure here 12 millimeters. Okay, between the, the between the tab and the uh, aileron. So I've got. I'm gonna do it 13 millimeters. Okay, now it, it's set on 13 millimeters. I just put some accelerator on it and let it sit. And that's it. Now I am going to, hopefully it's the right one. Yep. Okay, I've prepared a just need to find the servo arm. Take another servo arm and I'm going to repeat the same uh, procedure. Okay, I had some servo arms that I drilled. Okay. So exactly the same procedure. I have a, a arm here um, cleaning it up. Moving the tape. Everything is moving. Now Putting a little bit of CA. Putting some CA into the push rod. Playing with it a little bit so it will go in, mounting the head. Now it's exactly 90 degrees. Okay, both are the same angle, both are 90 degrees uh, to the servo. I will now put it on manual, put a little bit of epoxy, uh, a little bit of CA, and play with it so that it goes in. centering it now I'm gonna drop the aileron down and measure 13 millimeters as well again a little bit hard I'm going to measure this to see that I didn't mess up something so I'll have exactly the same angle. Okay. Some accelerator. Before it sits completely, I want Recheck everything. Not the easiest of angles to do things. Okay. Now, as it sets, it's gonna take it some time. I mean, the, the outside is is 
stiff, but the inside might not be completely dry. So I can check again with an angle that I'm more comfortable with. Okay, it looks good. I'll give it some more accelerator. Now I'm gonna leave it to dry. But basically, I can now very gently some pressure and see that everything is moving I am now getting 12 millimeters of aileron moving up and this one I'm getting about 11 and a half on this one aileron is coming down 20, 38 millimeters and this one about 37 so pretty much what I wanted there's probably a little bit of binding here so I'll clean it up a little bit later and and then I will get my 12 millimeters I'm not using more than 12 millimeters uh, one flying okay and this is pretty much it for the ones now I just need to put the screws here and just take everything apart and back again just to see that everything works and then I'm uh, going to do the uh, details. I realized uh, that during the last clip some of the footage wasn't very clear because of the, uh, the angle. So uh, I've taken uh, the wing off and now I'm putting it back on. Um, Okay, it's engaged. Now let's give it some power. And this this is the ailerons in a centered okay you can see the ailerons are centered now I am going to uh, give it direction into each side of it to cycle the, the servos and you can see that I'm getting the angle that I want I'm gonna do it manually now I'm getting 12 millimeters aileron up and almost 40 of aileron down this is with the movement that the DS65 gives uh, DS75 uh, gives a little bit more and KST gives even more than that but this is fine for me this is how I fly the plane I find that even at high weights this is a, a really good uh, a stopping power for me and so this is uh, my choice how to set up the, the wing uh, and you can see the other direction and that's it runs are done all I have left to do in the wing is put the peg in and I need to uh, put the strings and uh, in the fuselage and the tails uh, in the back and uh, then will be uh, uh, the regular uh, setup